beautiful destination of A on the world famous Lofoten Islands was the setting for the very first Sportcross Halibut competition taking place in 2022. We had nine teams of four anglers with a £4,000 first prize for the winning team with the biggest combined length of halibut and a £1,000 individual prize for the angler who catches the biggest halibut. On the opening morning of the competition, the boat dock was alive with activity there was excitement and anticipation in the air as the anglers talked tactics and tackled up ready for the day ahead. As neared the 7am start time, the boats left the dock and congregated just outside the harbour entrance, waiting for the all-important horn. As the boats raced to the first fishing marks of the day, we had a quick stop at the refueling station to ensure we had a full tank of fuel ready for the day of steaming around, covering the competition as and when the calls came in over the radio. However, before we left the dock, I had a quick catch up with head guide Alex to get his thoughts on the first day of fishing. Yep, the competition's underway now, all the boats are uh, headed out halibut fishing. Uh, where would you head to, Alex? Well, in a competition like this, I would I would definitely go for the big ones, maybe a play or smaller bait for just to get one or two smaller ones yep. also. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I would be heading to the main famous Moskin Star yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd be going for numbers I think um, and then possibly a big fish tomorrow. Uh, bait wise would you fish bait or lures? I would use uh, three bait fish, yep. coalies, mackerel and then just working one shad really good mm -hmm. like getting that vibration in the water going. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just that's how I would have played it out. Yeah, yeah perfect. Mm -hmm. Should we uh, head off and go and see if we can find some? Yeah, yeah. let's see if we can get, get some fish. On the journey out to the main stream we saw huge shoals of coalfish and mackerel both on the surface of the water and the fish finder so decided to try and catch a few for a bit of fresh bait during the day. It only took minutes to get a few in the bucket meaning we were ready and equipped to wet line ourselves during lunch and any periods of inactivity. With the radio quiet during the first hour of the competition, we took our first drift of the day and it wasn't long before I was hooked into the first fish. After slipping the cod back, news came through on the radio that boat 11 had landed a nice fish, so we motored over to film it and to congratulate them. Will you try to come and get some shots at it, alright? Yeah, no problem, cheers out. That one leads. Uh, well done. There's a team. Well, you're just wanting to hang it down, yeah?
staying in the main stream we caught up with a few of the other boats to see how they were getting on. It was relatively quiet but most boats had landed a few small fish, including some of the teams who had ventured further afield to the north. With our ears glued to the radio, we stopped for a spot of lunch and dropped our baits back down to the bottom and it was only a matter of minutes before we were in once again, this time with a far more substantial fish. Some big head shakes, isn't it? later, hailed my bait, 180 centimetres, it's a new PB for me, um, and Alex managed to get me a PB the other day at 174, so he's done very, very well. That's A on the Lofoten Islands. After releasing the fish we settled back in the main stream and relaxed and reflected on the fish we'd just seen. A true giant and a new PB for me. Every time I fish A the destination never ceases to amaze me and I absolutely love it. As the afternoon passed by the radio was fairly quiet but we still spent some time visiting the other boats and finding out how they were getting on before it's time for us to head back to the dock and get ready to calculate all the scores from day one. Guys, welcome here to all the Nordic Sea Island boats. Um, just giving a heads up that we're heading back to harbour. Uh, so if there's any questions, Marcus and Christian is having one boat, so you can just contact them instead. And uh, don't forget to be back inside uh, before 6 o'clock this evening if you want your scores to be counting in the competition during this day. That's it, over and out. On the steam back to home, we did make a quick pit stop, stopping at one of the spots close to shore to see if any of the resident sea eagles were at home, and we weren't left disappointed. As the boats returned back to dock, we enjoyed a beer and a catch up with the competitors, chatting about their days and verifying the fish that were caught. At 
the end of the day, boat number 8 was still in a slender lead with a 296cm total, while boat number 10 had landed the biggest fish measuring 138cm. Day 2 started with everyone still in with a chance and everyone was eager and ready to go with the hope of catching an early fish or two. Best of luck guys, tight lines out there today. Like the previous day, as the boats raced out to their chosen spots, we spent 10 minutes gathering a bit more fresh bait for the day ahead. bait fish in the bucket we didn't have to wait long for the first radio call of the day as boat 8 called through to let us know they'd landed a nice fish of 150 centimeters. Congratulations boat 8, uh, 150 centimeter this early on in the competition. Uh, we'll now we'll come over, it'll be about five minutes if you can just keep it by the side of the boat. Thank you. Just as that fish was slipped back, boat number 12 were in on the action with a nice double hookup. Another boat in the area was also into the action with another double hookup, and it was clear that the fish was certainly on the feed. As we stopped again for lunch, it was cameraman Chris's turn to get hooked up. I think so. Get in there. The halibut. Uh, that is about a 50 pound fish. That might be a boat. Here it comes. You can see the colour. Oh, it's big. It's way bigger than I expected. Wow. Yeah. These things are huge. That's a one that that is the size of you had water. Yeah. Look big, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a big fish. Ooh. Just get ready. Yeah, I think it is. Just get ready, Chris, because that might go again. Yeah, keep it locked up. Get ready. Just in case. 
goes again. Oh, that's a big one. That's Ooh. a big one. Oh. 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 This is two meters. So, we are fishing in A, and I've just landed the biggest fish I've ever caught and ever seen. We'll give you a little look down there. Mate Paul got some good footage fighting on his phone, but wow, that was absolutely unbelievable. But I'll give you a look. Camera went Chris had a this goal. This is A on the Lofoten Islands in Norway, and that is the biggest fish I've ever caught and ever seen. What an ab absolute creature. Look at it. Perfect. Lift your tail up a bit if you possibly can. Oh, that's amazing. What a fish! <laughs> After releasing Chris's fish, we had a few more drifts during our lunch break and even had some fun with a water wolf camera capturing some fantastic underwater footage of a halibut interested in our baits. We also managed a nice fish just over 100 centimetres. After a nice uh, little stop for lunch, this one decided to take a dead bait. At 108 centimetres, we're doing well. After an hour of fishing, we reeled our rods back in and went to visit boat number two with Radio 3 to say they had a nice fish, a lovely fish of 134 centimetres. Nice one. Did you lose other fish out for it? We might have lost other stuff. Yeah. There's fish here. That's it now. There we go. With the fish measured and safely returned, it was time for us to head back to the dock. We enjoyed a pint with guides Marcus and Alex before the competitors returned. Everyone had landed some nice fish and as we verified all the fish and lengths of halibut it was clear to see it was certainly going to be a close competition. After an hour or so of gathering all the measurements, we had a final tally and our winners of the first ever Sport Quest Halibut competition. Massive congratulations goes to the winning team, GBC Monsters, with a total length of 654 centimetres of halibut, and to the winner of the biggest fish category, Bill Scott, with a 150 centimetre specimen.
Later that evening it was time for a presentation and a few drinks to celebrate what had been a fantastic couple of days. It was also time to crown our winners and hand out the trophies. The biggest fish prize goes to Bill Scott. We'd just like to say a massive well done to everyone who fished the event and we hope to see you again next year. If you are interested in taking part next year then visit our website or contact us today. Finally, a special thanks must go to our supporters, Jerry's of Morecambe, Saltwater Boat Fishing Magazine, From the Water's Edge TV and Nordic Sea Angling. <laughs>